All right, so as you guys just saw, I unboxed the new Phantom 4 drone. And it's actually funny because when I was in the West Coast store, that's when I actually ordered the drone. So when I came home, like a few weeks ago, that's when I unboxed it, I started flying and I noticed that that the horizon was crooked because the gimbal, aka the cam, wasn't like level to the ground perfectly and I couldn't fix it no matter what I did. So I sent it back to get it returned and this is the brand new one that I finally got. It came this morning. So I'm currently charging one of the batteries and I'm gonna fly to see if I have that same issue. In the meanwhile, I'm having a little breakfast snack, aka two cinnamon buns and a little cup of coffee. So after I'm done eating that, I'm gonna put the new battery in the new drone, fly it outside, see if there's any issues and if there's not, Wonderful, we can continue the day. Alright guys, I'm outside right now, it's blistering hot out. I've got my remote controller over here, drone's over there, and we're about to test out, does a drone fully function without any flaws whatsoever? Alright, so I just flew the drone, and it did seem a little bit more, uh, I guess you could say parallel or stable with the horizon, so it does work a little bit better, but when I was in sports mode, it did seem to pretty much shake the camera. Sometimes the camera would go limp and I'd make a sharp turn instead of holding the camera like this, it would just tilt so much, it was really weird, so I can't tell if it was that specific flight, but later today when I fly it, while Jill's driving the car, then I'll really be able to tell. And the breakfast is four eggs, uh, one little bratwurst with some ketchup, some water, a bagel with some butter, some juice, that tastes really good, and some micros with the grapes. I don't know if you guys can tell, but right now I'm vlogging with my DSLR on the big Gorilla Pod, and this thing's massive and heavy. And the reason I'm doing that is because my little Sony camera kind of got messed up in the West Coast store. If you guys saw that video, it kind of fell down when I was doing the time lapse. So it's currently sent out to my warranty company, Square Trade or whatever. They're getting it fixed, and it'll come back sometime soon. So for today's video, I'm pretty much going to use this big DSLR and my old Sony Mark III. Look how big that is, like... Looks like I'm just like filming some Hollywood film or like some documentary. This thing's huge. All right, guys, so I'm done my super late breakfast for today, and I'm going to pack up all my little gadgets, my stuff, go get dill, do some fun stuff, and then go to the gym afterwards. That's planned. But before I do that, I've got to switch to my little convenient little vlogging camera. And focus, focus, focus. Ooh, there we go. So, yeah, one little camera. I can put this gigantic cinematic camera away. All right, guys, so we have a little surprise. The mailman just came with another bag. Gymshark clothing, so I'm pretty sure it says Pioneer Bottoms, Pioneer Tops, whatever. Let's open that up real quick. All right, guys, so I left my house in a pretty big rush because it's like already 5:20 today, and I just only eat breakfast. And gym closes at 10, and we have like a lot of things we need to do. So I didn't end up opening that Gymshark bag that I had. It's currently sitting in the back right there. I'm gonna open it at some later point today, probably with Dale, because that's what I'm gonna get right now. And yeah, let's go get them. Are you gonna let me fly it? I was gonna ask to fly it, but it's $1,200, so I'm gonna pass it. All right, right now, Dave's about to rip the drone Jesus all Christ. the way through town. That's moving! Is that in sports? Yeah. What? No. Oh, Wait, man. let me see that. Let me see it. Yo, brother man. Yo. Yo, what's up? Can I fly the drone? Yeah, I think it's raining. I just felt a drop. Does that can feel a drop? I felt a drop. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's feeling like it's... It's a little windy, too windy for Dill. We're gonna All right guys, so Dill's currently driving to an What's abandoned up, skate park somewhere. I don't really know where it is, it's about. It's, it's like 15 minutes, it's like 15 minutes from my house and literally nobody's ever, ever there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go there, we're gonna get some sick drone shots of like me skating. Are you gonna skate at all? Yeah, I'll try. Skate a little bit, yeah, we're gonna skate a little bit, get some drone shots and then, yeah. Yeah, basically just goof around in the yeah. park real quick and then afterwards maybe get something to eat, go to the gym, maybe yeah. something to eat after, I don't know, we'll see. Quick little pit stop, we had to get gas and then we're about five minutes away, so we'll see you there. So when Dill drives the car, due to his hubbit leverages, he, uh, the seat's all, all up and stuff, so my, like, femurs and my knees are, like, That's all jacked why. up in the car. That's not there why we I squat go. 500 pounds. It's not why I squat 500 because I have short femurs, all right? That's exactly why it squats 500 pounds. All right, guys, so we're finally at the park. This place actually looks really nice. We have, Sick. here's the park behind the fence. So just look at all this um, just empty space for uh, drone operation and stuff like that. Look, you have to jump over the fence. I didn't tell you that. It's a little bit illegal to be here, but it's cool. It's cool. In circumstances completely unrelated to us, we are now over the fence. I'm gonna leave those <laughs> Like the attention, girl, I know you, know you, but you're everything I want in life. Yeah. We're fighting danger like kung fu. kung fu. 
The love I feel is deep inside The others don't matter It's honestly us against the world With a perfect team You're my dream And I just want it If you ever need a helper, hey, you should know that I'll be there day and night. Nobody else can love you better. I'm here just to treat you right. You're the reason I'm alive. You're the only pain I can endure. And when you're not here. From the start, you my bunny, I'm your clock From now to eternity, I give you all my heart We are meant to be, it's clear to see My love is bigger than I thought I got everything I want when I hold you with my arm Now there's no matter, my love and my pleasure The key to my treasure, whatever's well, the weather Day up and night with you till I die How many times for you on my truck? Want you to notice the one and I know this Perfect soulmate, I wanna show it. my best friend She saved my life, my happy end in hard times So yeah, German battery is pretty much dead, and um, our talent, Dylan McKenna, turns out he's not as good as he used to be when he was very young. So I don't know how that's gonna turn out. I'm very, very. Uh, I used to be a pro skater. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know how that's gonna look, but yeah, just messing around. Pretty cool skate park. So maybe one day we can bring someone here that could actually skate. skate. Yeah, that'll be fun. To watch. Yeah, there's like so many. Um, part of the part of the reason you couldn't really do anything is because there's so much like. Like little rocks, like little ridges in the ground. A so no skill, but, uh... <laughs> a lot of a lot of no skill. But yeah, so kind of a sketchy place. So for the most part, the park looks pretty nice. It's very skatable. Bring a bike, bring anything here, except for this place. Like a massive trash can. Got a bunch of bottles in here, a bunch of dirty stuff. Like I don't know. Oh. I don't know what's up with that. But yeah, I don't know how I feel about the Phantom Four. Like a piece of shit. I'm your translator. He's my anger train. Shit! <laughs> when it's flying in sports mode, I, I don't know if I got two defected models in a row or it just sucks. Cause like it's so unstable. The camera's literally crooked. It can't it can't be straight. It doesn't make any sense. And when flying in normal mode, it's slower than all the other phantoms. Obstacle avoidance seems kinda like a gimmick. Like I don't know. I don't know if I want to keep this one. That's real I don't know what to do. You see like that uh the big hump right there? Yeah. See how there's like a, a ramp right there? Yeah. Down that, they skate all the way around. They go down the back of that. You see? And you see how there's an opening going into here? Yeah. So oh no. That's what they would do in the park was open. Uh, and like I, I've literally seen it because I used to go here sometimes, and they would literally drop in here, do a bunch of crazy shit, air out of here, literally drop all over the place, drop in from there. Like look how steep it is. Show them how steep. So this is not even like it's beyond steep. This is not even like it's parallel. Inverted. It's inverted. That's disgusting. That's talent. 
That's so much more impressive than Andre Milan and Travis' world record squat. So much more impressive. All right, guys, Dave's not going to skate down this little, this little ramp right here that I did 50 times. Do it. Look at him. You're going to do it. He's going to fall. But, yeah, you got it, man. You got it, brother. You're out of your mind. I need to, huh, I need to understand the physics a little. Yeah, David! What? What's the point of that spinning? I have no idea, but that's scary. Scary? I didn't know How much does it spin? Jesus, that's like a smooth bearing. That spins properly. Let's go get some food. Where? Uh, let's go to this place called South End. They have a bunch of different shit. All right, so that was an epic failure. Dill knows this really good place to eat nearby that has like cheesesteaks, pizza, stuff like that. So we're gonna stop by there, eat super quick, and then we're gonna go to the gym, so. At this point in my head, how I'm thinking, just thinking out loud, the only thing that could really save this vlog is a um, good workout footer, so better go fuel up. Primo's Pizza. We're going there instead. Primo Pizza. My food's here. Dill's got a massive burger. I don't know how he's fitting this since his macro. He's eating like 2,400 calories a day. That's impressive. And I got the same burger with fried onions, some fries, and of course, a little Snapple drink. So let's get eating. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna try that again. Alright, this looks new. Let's see. We have simple white tea. Let me feel the material. I'm assuming this is the same thing, but in blue. Yeah. Workout done. Still's on the treadmill finishing up. And then we're just gonna go to the car to drop him off, take him home. I'm leaving right now, and if you want to check out my YouTube, the link's gonna be in the description. Unless Dave doesn't put it in the description, then it won't be there. But if it is, go check it out. It's not gonna be there. It's not gonna be there? No. Come on, put it down there. Out of my car. Put it down there. <laughs> put it down there? Yeah, I'll put it down there. All right. It'll be down there, boys. It's not gonna be down there. Not? No, yeah, yeah, it will. Can you just put it down there? Yeah, it will. Put it in the description. I will. I want to hit 20k. All right. Come on, follow me on YouTube. Subscribe. Yeah, check it. Just check it out. Check it out. I want to check it out. What? I said go check it out. Oh. <laughs> I didn't say that. All right, he's gone. Yeah, don't check it out. Now go check it out. Come on, put it in the description. I put it there. Don't worry about it. All right, put it down there. You want me to leave those fries there? No. Hack? Yeah. He wants some gym shark shit real bad. If not, does he really? Yeah, he fucking wants some shit. He said he's awesome. Thank you, man. I got, I got a surprise for you under oh, one shit. condition. Under one, one condition. What condition? You gotta wear this clothing item for school tomorrow for product placement. I got you, man. You she gave him the gray yeah, ones? Those are clean, man. Yeah, here you go. Clean. Thanks, man. No problem. Got Enjoy. a pair of pants for school. Yeah. All right, guys. So I'm going to give you a little update on what's been going on with my like, training, pretty much. So there's a big issue when it comes to my overall body function or whatever you want to call it, pretty much. So I kind of have a mild injury. I have, what's it called? It's my hip adductor, right? Like the muscle in between the legs that I always complain about it, that it's like hurting when I do sumo deadlifts and I have to warm up really good. I always say that in my videos. And I always thought that that issue was just pretty much the hip adductor muscle. Pretty much being tight, 
being stressed out, pretty much having adhesions. I always thought it was that, but what I recently found out was is that it's not actually the muscle that's causing the problem, it's the actual tendon that like inserts like right in my pelvis. Like that's what's actually agitated. So there's not really much mobility I could do to fix it. I pretty much have to let it recover. So due to me just pretty much always like damaging the tendon and under recovering by not letting myself properly recover from it I kind of think I developed hip tendon I mean not hip just t tendinosis right in my hip adductor tendon so unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to do sumo deadlifts for like a good amount of time so I'm gonna lay off that only gonna do conventional deadlifts because the conventional doesn't really seem to bother it and in terms of squats like as of right now like I honestly can't really squat that much so my legs are like really sh like shivering away like completely they're disappearing like my body weight's going down just because the muscle mass of my legs is going away which is pretty unfortunate so I'm gonna rest up and hopefully in the near future I'll be able to like start introducing squats again and maybe like in a few months down the line I can start doing sumo deadlifts again so that's why my training hasn't really been how it's supposed to that's one of the reasons in the past I don't know while or whatever so in terms of the new program that i got i'm not really able to run it obviously because it has lots of squats and delts in there that i can't really do so pretty much the style that i'm training right now is i'm pretty much coming in hitting just a general push day then the next day is a pull day then push pull push pull kind of like that so i can't really train lower body which is like really really depressing i've never wanted to squat so bad in my life which is pretty weird so yeah, like I said, hopefully I'll be better soon. Hopefully I'll get back to that. But for right now, pretty much just rest, recover that tendon and just train my upper body as hard as I can. That's the goal for now. All right, guys, I just got home and I was playing around with the footage that I filmed like today with a drone and like the S-log and all that stuff a little longer than I should have. But a little, little, lot longer than I should have. So right now I'm going to show you like my big post-workout shake that I've been making lately. And it's super convenient, super high calories, pretty easy to make, pretty cheap. You could pretty much always have the ingredients So. Let me show you guys what that is. What you will need is a blender, preferably a little measuring cup, some milk, some almond milk, or both, some vanilla ice cream, and some heavy cream. Not half and half cream, not milk, heavy ass cream. And of course, how could I forget? You need protein because this is a protein shake after all. So this is by EHP Labs. This is their vanilla flavor, Lex. Uh, he's sponsored by them. So when he was at the booth at the Olympia when we visited, they gave him a bunch of free stuff. And he gave him, I mean, they gave him this and he couldn't fit this in his bag. So he just gave it to me. So I was like, yeah, of course. So yeah, I'm going to use this. So vanilla flavor protein. Three fourths of a cup of milk. And the rest, I'm going to pour almond milk. So I'm going to make that one and a half cups. Pop it into the blender. Flapping two scoops away. Two big ass scoops of vanilla ice cream. There's two. But that one's not big enough, so I'm gonna make another one. And this little piece. I personally consider this magic because one tablespoon or one teaspoon, no, one tablespoon has 50 calories. That's absurd. So we're gonna do half a cup of that, but I accidentally put three fourths of a cup in no big deal. There you go, it's all mixed up, and I actually use my measuring cup as my actual thing that I drink it from. So alright guys, that's pretty much the video. Nothing really special, just kind of a quick video just to keep you guys updated. So a lot of really, really good content coming out in the future and yeah, that's pretty much a wrap for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.